All right. Well, again, it is my pleasure to uh, introduce to anyone that's watching this DVD my good friend, Margaret yes. Pellegrini. And Margaret, uh, I don't, I can never imagine getting to say this. She was an original cast member of the film, The Wizard of Oz, the 1939 classic. And we are so honored to have her be a part of our production here at CJHS. Well, uh, I'm an honor to be here that you contacted me and had me to come. Well, she is just a treasure and a delight. And uh, one of the things briefly, and I know you said this at your, uh, at the beginning of the program, at each one of them, she spoke to, to the audience. Uh, tell them just a little bit about how you were uh, involved with The Wizard of Oz as far as how you were asked. Well, I had um, gone from my hometown, which is Alabama in Sheffield or Tuscumbia, and I went to Tennessee to visit my sister and my brother-in-law worked for a potato chip company. So he said, do you want to go to the fair and state fair and pass out samples with me? And I said, oh, I'd love it. That's why I love potato chips. <laughs> me too. So, <laughs> so then uh, I was out in the, out in the uh, grounds and some little people come walking down the midway because they had a show there. And I didn't know that. And because uh, I, wasn't mixed up with a lot of little people because I hadn't been in show business. And uh, they walked over and started talking to me and they said, would you like to join our show? Well, at the time, I was only 13. And I said, oh, I don't think so. I don't want to leave home right now. And they said, well, give us your name and address and maybe you'll change your mind later. So two years later, I never dreamed that I would hear from them. But two years later, they had given my name to an agent in Hollywood. And next thing I knew, I, I got a letter from this agent, or my dad did, and uh, he, liked, uh, he didn't like it at first. But then after he got someone to read the letter, and uh, they wrote back, and they sent the letter back, and everything was OK. And the next thing I knew, November the 8th, 1938, I was on my way wow, wow. to Hollywood. Hollywood bound at yeah. age 15. That is such an incredible story right there. And of course, that was just the beginning of the story because then you went to Hollywood on the set. And mm -hmm. I thought this was so fascinating. The rehearsals, as you said, it took how long to film the Munchkin sequence? Well, it only took eight weeks to film it. Only. But that was rehearsals. That was dress rehearsals, uh, learning our dance and then going on the set to film. Wow, wow. Now, uh, you said you had a choreographer, and you said you, you know, you, I'm sure they did technical things. You probably stood around some days and oh, yeah. uh, lighting and sound and we all did. those things. And the costumes had to be we fitted, did. like uh -huh. this beautiful costume you have on right here. Yeah, this is a copy of the one that I wore, and uh, they, because they didn't give us our costumes. <laughs> Cheap skates. <but> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure they, you know, recycle, recycle. Yeah, the they do. Business. I'm sure of that. And uh, regardless, the uh, the most fascinating thing, of course, I'm sure that our viewers will want to know about is uh, working with Judy Garland, working with oh, Billy Burke. She, yeah, she was a lovely teenager. She was only 16 years of age. And, and when we'd get a break, she would sit on the yellow brick road, and we would sit around her, and then she would ask us questions and we'd ask her and she was excited working with a star our little people uh -huh. as we were working with her as the upcoming wow. star wow oh, just phenomenal and then uh, billy burke linda oh she was a lovely person you know how old she was she was fairly old like almost like 40s no 55 55 i knew she, she was far 55 older than years uh-huh wow yeah wow but she was i used to stay out it, it, well see with the big costume she couldn't sit down <laughs> now, now how big was that costume oh because, i mean oh uh, it was pink, right? yeah it was beautiful but see they had a, a like a bar stool under her oh really? and that's how she sat down <laughs> and you know, you think she was standing all the time, but she wasn't. Is that but a fact? Um, during takes, we would, uh, I would go over to her dressing room, and outside they had uh, the walkway, and uh, she would go out and sit on a stool. But you think she was standing, and I'd stand there and talk to her because she was such a lovely person. Yeah. So I did get to speak with you know both of them. Sure, sure. And of course, Margaret Hamilton. 
and you were, I guess, on stage or on the set the day that she had that the day she accident. got burned. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, for the viewers yeah, that they, don't know, uh, you might explain that to the people that maybe. Well, what, what happened was that uh, uh, her cue was off a little, and she went and stepped on this elevator that goes, you know, that disappears her, mm -hmm. and when she goes down then her broom catches fire. And uh, she was out of commission for about eight weeks. But luckily, that was the last scene that they had to take. With her. With her. But see, in those days, they had those little fire, thing, long heaters with the holes in them. And they had fire that came up. They turned the gas on, and it's fire and smoke. And then she'd go down behind it. Wow. So that's why it looked like she burned. Sure. Oh, sure. there's so many things and tricks of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just, again, man, it's just fascinating yeah. that you would have those kinds of experiences. And oh, it was. Not a, just, then you contributed. You were there, a big part of it. You yeah. might tell our viewers what your contribution was to the film, as what parts you played. Well, I was one of the Munchkins, and then I had a hat on that looked like a flower pot, and so they nicknamed they nicknamed me the Flower Pot Girl. <laughs> so then they also picked me to play one of the sleepy heads, and there was five of us up in the nest, and we had like little pink nightgowns on. And we had uh, like a shower cap hat. They were bonnets, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, and, and we were in this little nest. Each one of us had a green nest uh, trimmed inside with uh, pink satin. So when I go out, I tell everybody I was a sleepyhead, but I can't show off in a nightgown. So I have to play munchkin in my munchkin dress. <laughs> well, you look beautiful either way. Either way, it just looks fabulous. But, you know, in the, uh, in the uh, sleepyhead scene, you know, we had to wake up, you sleepyhead, rub your eyes, get out of bed, wake up, the wicked witch is dead.